Hello students! Okay, so we're gonna go over the demonstration for the watercolor techniques. You're gonna need your finished paper and your paint. Make sure you use a brush like this one. Do not use a brush like this. This is very coarse. Your watercolor will not work properly if you use this kind of brush. You want the softer bristle brush. So the first thing you guys are gonna do is get some water on your brush, go into one of your little tins for a color. We're gonna pick red for now. You're gonna swirl it around a bit and you're going to put some color on the side. So I'm just gonna get the watercolors ready first. I'm gonna choose two colors. I'm gonna choose red and blue. So red and blue on the side. Whenever you guys are doing your mixings for your colors, make sure you always do them on the side. Do not do them on the actual tin part itself so you can keep your watercolors clean. Okay, so the first part we're gonna be doing is this one, the wet on dry. So I'm gonna take the one that I just made with the red. So wet watercolor on dry paper. And you're gonna bring it down. You do not want to put too much water or press down too hard because you're gonna end up ruining your paper especially if you guys are using a thin paper. So this is wet watercolor on dry paper. The next one is the wet on wet technique. When you're doing the wet on wet technique, you're gonna take a wet brush with clean water and put it on the paper, just like this. Then you're going to take your color and put it on. This one is very good for doing clouds or even marbling. Um, you can see the kind of effect it has when you guys uh, put it on and it dries. Especially if you just kind of put little dots around here. You can add like a little bit more in certain areas. Next one, we're gonna do the fade and gradient. So the fade and gradient. You're going to put the watercolor on the top right here and bring it down. Then you're gonna swell your brush in the water for a little bit, rinse it off, take some clean water, and bring it down. So it should go like that, okay? So the color should be more intense on the top, and then go down. You can go back in again with some more watercolor and bring it down. And that is how you fade it, okay? And then lastly, the two colors. You're going to take one of your colors first and you're gonna do the fade technique going down. You're gonna rinse your brush. Again, bring it down. Then you're going to take your second color. And take your second color and bring it up. Second color and bring it up. So, in the middle, you should have the mixture of these two colors. Keep in mind, if you mix a color that is a, what is it called? A complementary color, which is colors across from each other, across, uh, colors across from each other on the color wheel, you're gonna end up with brown. So this one isn't really red, it's more of an orange because this turned brown. Then you're going to move on to the next portion, the lines. So get your color, it can be whatever color you guys want, and you guys are supposed to practice your line. So what I like to do is put my finger down like this, just to kind of brace my hand. And you want to put very light pressure. And see how thin you can make your line. Then the thick one, you're gonna put more pressure for it. Thick to thin, you're gonna start off with high pressure and then gently lighten the pressure. Next one, for the thick to thin, or sorry, thin to thick, it's going to be thin, and you're going to add pressure. So it's gonna be thin, and then gently add the pressure. 
And then for freestyle, you guys can do anything you want here. You can draw something, practice. This one, I just want you guys to practice your strokes, okay? You can even draw something like an eyeball if you would like to. So you want to practice using various strokes because when you're doing watercolor, you're gonna be using various types of um, techniques and brush strokes. And that is how you do the watercolor techniques.